I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Thanksgiving in September, in the middle of a pandemic, that's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. Higher Things is an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. And so give today, tax deductible gift in the description. We need your gift today to keep this gospel in the ears of our church's youth. The traditional gospel lesson for Sunday was from Luke chapter 17. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee, and he entered a, vision and he, a, vi a village and he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance. And lifting up their voices, they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And behold, um, he said to them, um, you know, when you, as you go, uh, show yourself to the priest. And as they went, uh, they were cleansed. They were uh, uh, cartherized. Uh, that's the Greek word for cleansing. They were, uh, they, were, they were healed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turning back, uh, praised God with a, with, a, with a loud voice and fell on his face at Jesus' feet. And now that guy was a Samaritan. And answering, Jesus said, we're not there 10 lepers. Where are the other nine? Was no one found to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, stand up, raise up, resurrect up, rise up and go. Your faith has so soaken, has saved you. That's the text. Uh, 10 lepers. One thankful one. And, 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 and this is not a, this is not be the thankful leper. That's not what this is about. Thankfulness is a fruit of faith. And we'll talk about the fruit of the spirit later on this week. Uh, maybe. Uh, but thankfulness is a fruit of faith. It flows from a good tree bearing good fruit. Fruit singular. The fruit of thankfulness. Thankfulness stems from, um, a heart that has been nothing but given to by God. Uh, that le those lepers were separated from their life, their community, from everything. Uh, they were literally lepers. Um, can't have them around because this debilitating disease, um, which is curable today, was deadly then. So there were literally colonies of lepers, um, just like the movie Ben-Hur. Jesus comes to that area and they call out to him. Here are the most despised of the despised. People separated from their life and their families, quarantined. And not just for a few weeks, getting out of quarantine tomorrow, but not just for a few weeks, but for the rest of their lives. Jesus, master, have mercy on us. The word go show yourself to the priest literally means go back to your life. Because the priest would, is the one who would look the person, the leper, over if they were healed, proclaim them to be cleansed, and send them back to their life. And so when he says, go sow yourself to the priest, they know exactly what's going on. They're about to go back, back to life, um, back to reality. They're about to go back to their real life. One of them turns and stops. Now Jesus' command was, go show yourself to the priest. But the one who turns is so overwhelmed with joy for what the Lord has done for him that he doesn't go to the priest. First, he drops to the feet of Jesus and praises him. Now Jesus can do higher math. Ten and he has one thankful one. Where are the other nine? And this one is said to be a Samaritan. You don't get any worse than a Samaritan. Say hello to Thor, he's sleeping. This is meant to shame us. This is meant to call us to repentance. 
the least of the least, the Samaritan, the worst of the worst, he knows where his bread is buttered. He knows what saves him. That Jesus alone saved him. He knows this. We spend each day acting like we're not saved by Jesus. We spend each day acting like every good and perfect gift doesn't come down from above. But that one didn't miss a chance to do it. And the answer of this is not be thankful like the Good Samaritan. The answer is, how could you not be thankful? Look at what Jesus has done for you. He has rescued you. He has saved you. He has saved you from your sins. He has saved you from your death. He has saved you from the leprosy, the the, the sickness of your sin and death, which separates you from each other and separates you from those you love. And he's forgiven it. He's taken it upon himself in his cross. And by his death, he has raised you to new life and cleansed you and re-brought you back to the fellowship of his son. Thankfulness isn't a work that we do that we're like, oh, I got to be thankful. Thankfulness flows from a loving Savior who loved us and gave his life for us. He alone saves. And for all this, it is our duty to thank and praise, serve, and obey him. This is most certainly true. So blessed, thankful leper day to you and to your family. Because God is teaching us to be thankful for everything for what's going on in your life and even the COVID that I'm recovering from. That's a gift too. A gift that I'm thankful for. And even if the worst were to come, even if death were to come to me, that would be a gift too because it comes from a loving God who has rescued me from my leprosy and my sin and my death. And if it's true of me, it's definitely true of you too. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and a sleeping Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.